Hello and welcome to the Clash of Giants, Mid Journey versus Leonardo AI. In today's video, I want to give you an overview over the features of Mid Journey and Leonardo AI, and I want to compare the both to which one of those is the best text to image converter. Let's have a look at what Mid Journey and Leonardo AI can do for us. So, first thing is how do you get Mid Journey? Mid Journey is a Discord based platform, so you have to go to midjourney.com and then you can join the beta and come into their Discord server. Midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of the human species. So Midjourney is a little bit longer uh, on the space and the newcomer is Leonardo AI which is here since the last two weeks. And to get into the Leonardo AI is a little bit complicated because you need to, to insert your email here then you can count, click on count me and then you will get an email notification by them where you can join their Discord server. And in the Discord server of Leonardo AI you need to introduce yourself here in this introduction text channel and then you will get uh, the priority early access and after 24 hours or in the first 24 hours they will message you with uh, your login data so you can then log in into the Leonardo AI with your mail uh, with your name and your email so then you are whitelisted for them and then you can join Leonardo AI so what do I want to show you this is Leonardo AI app feature this is how it looks on the home you have many uh, different featured models here as you can see already and some recent creations from the creators which use Leonardo AI. In today's video, I want to compare four prompts and the images created by Midjourney and Leonardo AI with using these exact prompts. So, and for this, I want to start now. And the first image is created with the prompt Batman in metal, shell war, camis, amor, Indian style, which I will now use here. Click on image generation. And this is the one. I want to use this prompt to generate a new model, which will be created with you have now you can see uh, you see it here you have different uh, models you can use and you can also select custom models and um, for example these are the platform models which are saved on the platform and you can also uh, use the community models which were created by the creators um, and by other people who use Leonardo AI and you can also create your own custom model which I will show you in a different video how this works so we want to create a Batman in Metal Shell Walker Mies Amor so for example I think we go first with the Deliberate 1.1 model which creates nice models here and then you can also mm, select Leonardo style and the first thing I want to do it without and you have also prompt magic which is a beta uh, experimental render pipeline that might get you better quality of your pictures. So now let's let it load for some time and as you can see you are you're completely free. You can use Leonardo AI at the moment completely free, there's no hidden costs or something and you have much more things to which you can, settings which you can um, change. You can change number of images, you can image dimensions, you have more gui uh, guidance scale here, we have a step count and so on. So we can guidance data set it up a little bit higher. They recommend to use it in the, in the mid range. So now here we have our first Batman picture, as you can see it here. A little bit mm, things in the background which wouldn't be there and it's not already an Indian uh, Amor style. But it's Batman, hey, so it's not bad at first thing to do. So let's use the Leonardo style in this and look what now comes out of this. So the thing is with these different models you are really free and can do whatever you want. You have thousands of models here which you can use to generate what you want. You also can do negative prompt and exclude something you want, don't want to see. So it's not really getting better because we only get Batman and not an Indian style. So for example I will try an, an, another machine which is RGB 4.0 and we will generate a new picture aligned with this one and look if this gets better here. At the end um, of this creation I show you what I created with Midjourney and then you will see uh, at the moment for bad, for this prompt you will see a big difference. So as you can see here, what's that? No, that's not really Batman in an Indian armor style. So that looks not so good. But as you as, as you can see and compare it with Mid Journey, for example, this is what I created with Mid Journey. And here you see Batman in an Indian armor style. It looks definitely uh, better <laughs> as these pictures we can see here, for example. There's, that's only Batman, it's not the, bad, bad, uh, the baddest pictures, but it's not really what I wanted. So here you can see the Mid Journey. We have also a little bit face drop here. It's not really wanted, but if you look at this picture, right corner, it's definitely from a higher quality as you can see it here now. But we only use three models here. So if you want and search for models, you can definitely find a model which then will create your picture like this in Mid Journey. So the next prompt I want to use to generate a model is Benito Juarez Cyberpunk Aspect Ratio 2. At this time I will show you what I created with it in Midjourney. This is the picture Midjourney created for me and looks definitely really really cool. For example these two here, really cool pictures Midjourney can create and definitely super futuristic. So 
let's see what we can get out of it with Leonardo AI and with the model LGP uh, 4.0. The thing is, as you can see it here, we use three tokens and you have over 250 tokens per day. So this is what you get. So this is Benito Gerardo Cyberpunk. Definitely not uh, the same as we created with Mid Journey. So we will try a different model. We can search now for platform models. So you can, uh, for example, look for what you want to get of it. So we have here Leonardo Select, fine tune of SD 2.0. So let's see what they created with this model. Well, it's not the baddest thing. We will use this model now and generate it with this model again and look if we get some better quality pictures here. Let's have a look. That's definitely a little bit better than this but it's not really what I wanted to see. Uh, for example this is what I wanted to see so yeah that was not the best but as you can see the pictures and from different models already have big differences so if you try around and use different models and also can include the Leonardo style for example so I will show you so this will make also a difference so you have many many options to use here and can <coughs> create individual images but even they don't have now in the first two prompts they don't have the same style as we have it with mid journey for example so here you see the difference between using Leonardo style and don't using Leonardo style gives the pictures definitely a different perspective again so the next prompt was this one this is an inspired boy and girl who believe that anything is possible for this prompt i already created the image that's what i got here really, really looks not that bad and what i got from mid journey are a little bit more realistic photos as you can see it here for example and with leonardo signature model and leonardo style i get models like this I don't look bad these pictures i think the style is really cute so i want to upscale this image which i can do now here this will also cost one token so as i said um you have 25 post-processing tokens remaining for the day so it's free to use and with this giving you an upper range they only want to save a little bit of their server space so now the image is upscaled and it looks a little bit shittier than before so that was not my intention this was the original image and this is the upscaled one and there came something to this image that i don't want to see there so this is also in the beta all and for example you also can use the unzoom image which is also in the beta space at the moment which will zoom out of your image so let's look at it not finished yet yet is finished so we can use the unzoomed image and then it will zoom out of your image with this image it doesn't really work that well so we can see it that this comes out of some picture which not really works that well but also in this round i think midroni is the clear winner with the pictures we get from this prompt and now last but not least we have the last um, prompt for today which is a little bit complicated Mm, which is the synthwave style, a passenger aeroplane flying between the storm clouds, piercing through them, leaving cosmic aura contrails, a close angel photo, thunder photorealistic, hyper realistic, high quality 8K we want to get here. And now let's generate with the Deliberate 1.1. 1 .1. Well, let's use Leonardo Select for this one with non Leonardo style. Generate this one. In the meantime, I can show you what came out with Midjourney, which is super cool photos, I have to say, for example, this one. This is really, really cool pictures Midjourney can create here from this um, description. But as we can see it now in the background, we get nothing. <laughs> These are the best photos at the moment we got from the prompts today, but it's not the same as we can see it here with Midjourney, which gives us a different style. But as I said it before, we have so many different models here. We have to try out another model to maybe get a better picture quality for our want. So becoming better because I get now pictures which I want but it's not the same as with Midjourney as we can see it here what is this yes this is not what I wanted to see here but it's getting a little bit better we can also go through this now here Leonardo style on with Leonardo creative the next thing is I will use a community model to show you what this models can do and yes then we are through then I will give you a short summary of these models so now here we get a little bit better pictures. For example, this one is just really nice looking. It's really photorealistic, I have to say. Don't look bad. So I will upscale, I think, this one. This one also looks bad. It's not what I really wanted because there are no thunder is in the back, but it's more realistic than the other ones we can see here. So for example, you see with this model, I get better picture quality, but I have a hundred of models left I can try. And uh, today, as you can see, per generation, I only use three tokens. So now the picture is upscaled. Let's look at the upscaled one. It looks good. That's the original image, and then we have a nice clean upscaled one. So it definitely looks not that bad. So guys, now we can also select the community model, for example. Then you go here to fine-tune models, and then we search for our 
community model which we can use in this style. I think I also will go with this autistic portrait model. I think that looks not bad. So we want to generate this again and look what this model can do for us. So this is a different style now. Autistic portraits as you can see here. This is the fine-tuned model we got here. And this was created by another user of Leonardo AI. You can create such models where if using some base pictures which will then be the reference for this model. But as you can see it's not clearly the best thing to do in some points. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, it's a little bit buggy here at this stage. So the best pictures we got with Leonardo Creative at the moment uh, from the four ones we tried here. So what's my decision? What is better, Leonardo AI or Mid Journey? At the moment I have clearly to say from the picture quality Midjourney gives us better and realistic photos. So they have really the upper hand in this competition now from the quality of the pictures. But Midjourney isn't free. You have to pay Midjourney. You have to pay for it. And you cannot decide which model you want to get from Midjourney. You have many, many options here to use different models and styles. As you can see it here, there's all different models. You can also create your own data sets and models that you want to get. So. In this case, this gives definitely Leonardo AI, which is really new, and plus point. So Leonardo AI, I would um, give it a lower picture quality, give it, gives out a lower picture quality as Midjourney, but has more uh, settings which you can change. So, and this is now that I want to say, use Midjourney if you have a little bit of money and want perfect results from the, per, uh, from, from the first prompt you give it, or use if you have many um, requirements and you want to have a free version to generate your pictures then definitely go with Leonardo AI because here you have these settings you want to change here you can create your own models if you have to create pictures from the same type again and again then you use definitely use Leonardo AI which is free at the moment so definitely cool pictures you can create if you have a little prompt understanding give it long prompts for example as it here is then Leonardo AI works the best and gives out really cool photos as we can see here from other creators so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this short Clash of Giants and I hope you try out Leonardo AI yourself and also Midjourney. Both are really cool um, AI tools to use in these days and be sure to check them out on your own. So have a nice day and bye.